I think it's necessary to announce something, because I'm announcing my current feelings. I don't have a chance to talk about my eldest daughter and my marriage. On the 20th of November, 2019, at her first birthday press conference after becoming the imperial heir, in his comments on turning 54, Prince Akashino had this to say. The year is 2021, and the goal of the story of Mako and Emma. Kimuro is in sight. By the time they reach this point, the family is said to be on the verge of collapse in Aksanomi Iik. What was the nature of the collapse? There has been no progress in the marriage talks between Mako and Kerry. As I said at the press conference, MR and MRS. Akishino and Mako can talk about their daily lives, but they don't talk about their marriage anymore. Mako seems to have a deep-seated distrust of her mother, Kiko, in particular, and the gap between mother and daughter has only widened over the past two years. At the moment, there is not even a clue as to how to repair the situation. In 2019, at His Imperial Highness Prince Akashino's birthday press conference, there was apparently talk among the Kune reporters present that His Imperial Highness had lost weight. It was said that they could see that His Highness was suffering from prolonged mental fatigue. Also, on the occasion of her birthday in September, his Highness Kiko was requested by the CUNY Press Association to hold a press conference by herself, but she responded in writing, I would like to refrain from reporting on the current situation and the future with regard to the postponement. Even in 2021, the year of the impasse, the written response ended with a bland, abstract comment. There was no bloody content, was there? It is said that MR and MRS Akishino met MR Kimuro for the first time around 2013. After that, MR Kimuro proposed to Lady Mako at the end of that year. It is said that at that time, when the background of the Kimuro mother and son was not clear, Kiko seemed to welcome MR Kimuro with open arms. From the beginning, Prince Akashino took the idea of his 22-year-old daughter's marriage in stride, but Kiko took an immediate liking to Kei and praised him. She even said, there is no one more wonderful, and he is the ideal man to marry. Mako was truly happy to have her boyfriend's approval, says an Aksanomi Iik insider. Now that I think about it, Kiko, in the opposite sense, is quite a congratulatory story. Mako and MR. Kimura's relationship progressed at a smooth pace. Mako finished her studies at the University of Leicester in the UK, and then in September 2017, the usual Sun and Moon engagement press conference was held. In November of 2017, Kiko attended the birthday press conference of Prince Akashino. She described her first impression of MR. Kimura as follows. When we first met and talked, I got the impression that he was polite and gentle. And I still have the same impression. When we asked if we could listen to the piano, he gladly agreed, and we spent a soothing moment listening to the gentle tones of MR. Kimura's piano. If only we could have done our research beforehand and found out who the Kimura mother and son were. Was this a result of Exonomi Iik's liberalism? At this point, he didn't seem to have any idea that there would be no turning back. Kika's words of praise for MR. Kimura soon collapsed. As a result, she was struck by the truth. The spark that led to the postponement of the engagement was the revelation of the debt problem between Kimura's mother, Kao, and her former fiancé. This was in December 2017. The 4 million yen was provided by Kao's ex-fiancé during the engagement period. The Kimura family claimed that this debt was a gift, but the fact that it included Kao's university entrance fee, tuition, 
and expenses for studying in the U.S. Cousin used a heat up. A journalist for the Imperial Household said, the Exonomi IAC and CUNA offices, which had not been informed of the facts, were in an uproar. From the 12th of December, when the weekly magazine that broke the big scoop went on sale, until the 6th of February at the beginning of the year, when the postponement of the engagement was announced, the Kimura mother and son visited the residence of Prince Akashino on numerous occasions to ask for an explanation. It's been four years since the couple was introduced to each other, but Kay hadn't explained important things to them, including his financial problems. It was only after the weekly magazines reported on her father's suicide and her grandmother's belief in a new religion that Akashino Miyake learned about them. Prince Akashino began to complain, saying, I can't say I'm sincere. What were Kimura's unthinkable words in this situation? I want to study at the University of Hawaii and become a lawyer. His unintelligible words and actions baffled the Akashino family even more. They were scheduled to visit Hawaii a few months later, in June 2018, to attend a ceremony commemorating the 150th anniversary of Japanese immigration. They were also scheduled to meet with university officials and told them to refrain from doing so because it would cause a misunderstanding that they might have been accommodated to study abroad. In the first place, how would they prepare for the no you ceremony in marriage while studying in Hawaii? The couple's sense of distrust only grew, said a CUNA official. Then, on the 6th of February, 2018, the Crown Prince Kaji held an emergency press conference at the CUNA Press Club. Many reporters were expecting a breakup, but what was announced was the word postponement. Many reporters were expecting a breakup, but what was announced was a postponement. In the event that you have any kind of questions concerning where and how to use the internet, you can contact us at the website. I'm not sure what to do. I think we were too hasty in doing many things. We would like to think more deeply and concretely about our marriage together and take enough time to prepare for our marriage and after our marriage to deepen it to the extent that we can. Originally, we would have preferred to have reached that level by the time we made the announcement of our engagement, but we regret that we were unable to do so because of our immaturity. This is a document written by Mako herself. From that time on, people involved with Axino Miyake said that they could see the difference in perception between Mako and her parents. It seems that Mako thought that the only problem was the schedule as stated in this document. But the Akashino Miyake couple saw the K-related reports as a problem. However, they didn't talk to Mako about anything too serious, but tried to persuade her to stop and think about it. At that time, they were still confirming the details of the financial problem, and they probably didn't think it would take this long. We didn't talk too hard about the need to solve the financial problem. But the problem started after this. MR. And MRS. Akishino were naturally inclined to oppose the marriage. This was not only because of Kimura's mother's debt problems, but also because of other factors, according to an Exino Miyake source. What are the other factors? I've heard that Akashino and his wife visited the Imperial Palace several times to talk about Kari, and the four of them talked with the Emperor and Empress. At that time, Michiko apparently expressed her opinion that it would be better to come up with an opinion as a Kishinomi Aik and explain it to the people. Michiko is a person who, once she has made a decision, repeats it. In the event you have any questions concerning where and the best way to get in touch with us, please do not hesitate to contact us. It was about a month later that the CUNA agency announced what it believed to be the thoughts of the Emperor and Empress and the then Empress. 
Their Majesty's first thought was that this was a matter that touched Mako's inner feelings, and that no one, not even her parents, could do anything but wait to see what she thought. In the past, whenever any member of the family was in distress, the Empress would always say that it was the distress of the entire family, and she would watch over them with concern. I'm not sure what to make of that. However, it is clear that the Empress did give various warnings to MR. And MRS. Akashino. But it's true that the Empress did give various warnings to the Akashino couple, which made Kiko change her mind about the impossibility of this marriage. But since the Empress Superior said that she will wait for Mako's thoughts, she can't tell Mako what her intentions are. So, Kiko is caught in the middle. Now Mako's opposition is directed at her mother, Kiko. Mako knows that her father, Prince Akashino, was not a wholehearted supporter from the start, and that his position requires him to take a cautious stance. But Kiko is not sure why she changed her mind when she should have been in favor of Kei. Perhaps Mako doesn't know the feelings of the Empress. She seems to think that her mother has changed because of the reports in the weekly magazines, and that she is making up a story that says no matter what Kimura's financial problems are, she should not get married. MR. And MRS. Akishino were caught between a rock and a hard place, but they were hoping that the Kimura family would easily decline the proposal. They seem to be optimistic that the Kamiras would normally pull out after causing such a stir. However, when Kerry visited Exino Miyaik, all he did was develop his own theories, and the Akashina no Miyais became increasingly frustrated. In the first place, it is not normal for an ordinary person to approach the royal family. The Kamiro mother and son are passionate about a theory. I wonder what their reasons are other than the polemic of obtaining status, honor and money. I wonder if such a trend will accelerate rapidly under the surface in the future. It is frightening. Thank you for watching until the end. Thank you for watching until the end. That's all for this time. Please share your thoughts in the comments. It would be great if you could rate this video with the like button. I will continue to share more videos about the Imperial family, so please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the videos. See you soon.